We just want to welcome you back to this end of year show with Lee and Jimmy and Tyler. Right now, you're witnessing Jimmy doing his best to put a priest thing on his shirt. He's going a bit big, he's going a bit big on it, but I think it will catch the alcohol as he dribbles it out of his mouth. So it's very nice, Jimmy. It looks, like a, like, it looks like a tag that you left on your shirt when you brought it. <laughs> Priesthood is hard, man. I we think know, I got said, it. We, I want you to know we told Jimmy just have an inch hanging over. Yeah. Now we know why Jimmy said his cock's eight inches because if that's an inch, then we know <laughs> no, why. I don't, I don't want to know what eight inches is. Uh, uh, I, think, I think I got it, guys. Hold on. I think you do. <laughs> it looks perfect. It looks just like it. it looks just like I think I got it. Life. I think I got it down. Oh, you got it down, yeah. all right. Um, oh, look wow. at that. Look at that. I can't tell who's who. Oh. How's that? Oh, oh my god, I swear I just walked into the Parthenon. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Come on, I got a drink. I got a, I got a, I got a breakfast. I'm having a oh, I haven't had one of those bad boys in a minute. Oh, it's just potato, old, it's just potato. The oval hashy, the delicious oval. You know, uh, Tyler, do me a favor, zoom in on me for a minute. Let me see what it looks like. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. Oh. Let's see how perfect it is. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he's feeling himself. Look, you can even see the tape on the bomb. It's clear. <laughs> it looks like it looks like you're out at one of those functions and it says, my name is Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get it any shorter. You got a name tag. I can't get it any shorter than this because if I do, I can't reach it. That's the problem. So it's, I leave it on the screen. That's good. Perfect. Next All year, right. I promise I'm going to have something. I'm gonna, I, I, I have the actual priest collar right here. This is this is it right here. We're really getting yeah. there. Yeah. Okay. What you should have done is just put tape. You should just put tape on each side of that, Jimmy, and lean forward and went uh, and stuck it on your shirt. Yeah, that might be an idea. Could have done yeah, that. Do that. Do that while we're yeah. watching. All right. While you this. do that, here's the intro. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Step into the box. Tell Jimmy and Lee your sins. <laughs> There you go, on there, Jimmy. You got it. Baxter's <laughs> <laughs> joining the struggle to watch the struggle. Wait, are we on the show? Oh, yeah, we're, we're on. on the show. Show. Oh, oh shit! All right, I'm sorry. All right, I'm, I'm, sorry. <laughs> I'm just trying to I was put trying the to tape get on there. it and then just lean forward and let it push on your neck like that. It's yeah. commendable because he's following through with his promise. He absolutely promised the next show he's going to have one. So yeah. there you go. Uh, it looks great, Jimmy. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Well, uh, we've got some really good new confessions. Yeah. People love that. People love that last big show we did, didn't they? Huh? Yeah. We're back. Yeah. How, that, how, how was the last show? I didn't. I didn't watch. It. I didn't even like. Uh, oh, was it? I, when I was when I was doing cardio, I went to like the set part where you started going off at Bobby. And I was sort of laughing out loud on the treadmill for the whole time when <laughs> you broke the glass. And I think I think Dave oh, I said he watched it from that. I had he to get another from one. That point on. Yeah. That was one uh, email we got. It was just, oh my god, this is the best laugh I've had watching a podcast. Yeah. Cheers, oh. Merry Christmas, and fuck you, Bobby, <laughs> you Grinch ass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I had a. Uh, uh, I want to thank McDonald's too for cooking my eggs. They're a dollar ten each, that? but thank you. Well, you know, if you get a McMuffin, it's the only thing you can get at McDonald's with a grade A fresh egg. Well, uh, if you can just get the eggs by himself. Just ask for the egg by itself. Whoa. I definitely just heard like a shotgun or something outside. But, hey, that's Tallahassee. Uh, the war's starting. Yeah, man. Get the nine mil. Zombie apocalypse. Shit. Yeah. Yikes. Maybe I should get mine. And get, maybe I should bring mine into your office, man. Just in case someone breaks my door down or something. No, not, not by oh, the time you get a bottle of wine, Jimmy. No. Why? That could have been a car accident too. You never know. Car accidents, gunshots. It's, it's, it's you know, it's like the birds and the bees in Tallahassee. Go outside with the camera and film it, and I'll bless them as they're dying. Oh, that, wow, that'd be dark. <laughs> just, just in case something happens here. Yeah, oh, Jimmy, uh, I'm oh, in Jimmy. Like seven states I'm away. I'm worried. 
I, I, gunshots. I, I can't. I'm, I'm scared now. I got to. Oh, gunshot. Jimmy, I'm sorry. No, it was something. It was just now, kind of. Now, we, now we're going to have Jimmy with a loaded gun and drinking oh, wine. Damn. Yeah, yeah. This is what we need. This is the last thing we need. Hey, I'm looking in the mirror. This thing looks good. Oh, oh you. <laughs> He's been drinking. He's been drinking. <laughs> Pretty convincing. It's the new year. What gun you got, Jimmy? What gun did you bring? What have we got? Uh, I, well, I was going to, I don't know if I was going to, which one I was going to bring because. Get a shotgun. Get a shotgun. Spread out. Shotgun? All right. I was yeah, yeah. Get my, That'll uh, take a few out. My AR. All right. I'll get the, let me get no, the no, shotgun. No, no. Get a shotgun. You know, pellets will spread. Right. You can really do yeah. No hand grenades, right? I'll just do a shot. No, no, no hand grenades yet anyway. All right. Good God. Save that for save that for midnight on the thirty first. All right, here we go. <laughs> so I'll just, keep that. I'll just keep that right here. Oh, wow. Just in case. <laughs> God damn. Yeah. Okay. Right behind the chandelier. Hey, Jimmy, in the Jimmy, Jimmy, when you've had a few more wines, an hour and a half in, can you show us how that works? Absolutely. Don't encourage them. Yeah. <laughs> Don't encourage that yeah. behavior. Do you have it? Do you have a good bird's eye view of it? Let me put it over here. Well, and we can see it. That's my baby. All right. There you go. Good to go. Yeah. Now, right. just just pretend someone's coming through your door. Can you swing around quick enough to grab it? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. That's why I put it this way, so I could just grab it just like so here. Yeah, but say you know? someone just yeah. kicked your door open right now. How quick can you get to it? Oh, uh, that would take me a minute. Yeah, I'd have to get a knife. You know what? Let me right. get a they knife. Could, because, could. Yeah, yeah that might need a knife too. Yeah, let me you get that need because just in case I have, to, I have to swing around and, and, and start yeah. sticking. Yeah, yeah stab good, him good before idea, you grab Lee. the gun. Good. good Goodness gracious. I want, I want people to know we do not promote violence on this show. We're all about yeah. love and confessions. But, and... but we prepare for it. Yeah. Um, okay. Okay. They wouldn't know it. They crucify Jesus. Ooh, look at that Rambo pain. knife. All right. Well, I do enjoy fine steel. So yeah, I, I have to admit nice. that's pretty yeah. badass. That way, when they come through the door, Jimmy, you go this way and stab them, then swing back, grab the gun, while they're on their knees from being stabbed, blow their head off. The good, the good thing about this one, if you notice, Tyler Lee, it has yeah. like brass knuckles on the end here. See that? Why? Yeah. It's got like a little. So your hand, knife. your hand doesn't yeah. slip. Your hand won't slip down the blade. And this here, you know, meets the teeth. So what you do, Jimmy? Nice. This is you, right? Yeah. This is your door. This is your gun. You swing around, <laughs> pull it out, punch him in the head, swing yeah. back, grab yeah. the shotgun, and as they're lifting their head up from the floor, go boom. And then as, oh. as inevitably another bad guy comes in, then you throw I'll the have, knife right into I'll, his I'll, mouth. And then yeah, you realize, just, then you realize I could just, just swing around like this. Man. Lee, I could just take it off the table and just yeah. just kind of like, like as simple swing. as that. Yeah, and then it. you realize, yeah. fuck, he was holding my Uber order. Fucking hell. <laughs> oh, no. Jimmy, you want to see the blade I carry every day? Yeah, let me see. It's my my little leather man. It's a uh, it's got this pocket knife. It's like a oh, look at you. Little steel. But you know what oh, else I actually oh. use it more for? It's got a flathead for my little tripods and gimbals and shit. Oh, nice. Little that's what he. Head. That's what he tells oh, the police that. it's for. It's just my utility tool. It's just my utility tools. Yeah, well, look, 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 I got, I got the, uh, look at this one, Tyler. Oh, show and tell, I love it. Woo! Oh. Is that a spider <laughs> cow? <laughs> and it's got the American flag going on with the little skull. A little Punisher skull? Well, of course it does. I actually, yeah. I actually had a guy make me a knife. Let's see if I can find it. He made it out of something. <laughs> and, he, and, he sent it, and he sent it to me. Hold on. <laughs> The confessional, <laughs> aka knife show and tell. <laughs> now I kind of want to get a single blade, but I've always I just I love multi tools. It's like you know. Yeah, I got like you. Yeah, fidgety. I I actually use this at work a lot. This little knife, you know, comes in handy. What do you use it for? I keep it very sharp, you know. What are you cutting with it? Uh, you know, sometimes we have to use zip ties and stuff like that, so yeah. I, I use it on that. That's a um, big blade for zip ties. <laughs> <laughs> look at this, look at this. Now a fan actually sent me this. Look, it comes in this nice leather thing. But look at look at the work that's going in this. It's like a it's like a it's made from a spanner, right? The spanner. He's twisted the steel Whoa. and made ah. it into that looks like something out of the basement of the Vatican. Lee. It does. I was just gonna say it looks yeah. holy. It looks it like really a holy is. scepter of some kind of sort. I said yeah. I was going to the toilet when I was in. I went there <laughs> 
I like this was that. what they speed through the side of Christ. I swear, I can almost hear like music coming from it. Yeah, look, it's oh, actually man. made. That's the Spanish side. Look, I can just say, officers, I'm just tightening up the bolts. Yeah, that's how we do the sacrifices. I can, I can hear yeah. some kind of like yeah. pipe organ almost. That is, that is. Look how he's twisted it. He's twisted the. I like that. Yeah, that's cool. Somebody made that for you. Yeah, look, and that's the bit that was the spanner. No, that was like the end of a wrench. It's yeah. pretty wild. I've never and seen anything like that. Whole, he took the whole wrench yeah. and he twisted it and made it into a blade. I like that, man. Wow. That's that badass. Cool. I'm jealous now. <laughs> See, look at that. Put your finger in there. Thump, 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 yeah, thump, yeah, yeah. Right under the armpit. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Some priest we are. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you. <laughs> and we're killing people and shit. And Let me take the shotgun down because you know what? This comes is supposed in this to be a beautiful, a, beautiful piece of leather that it's wrapped in. Oh, it's lovely. Well, now I got to show you my zombie killer. I have to go get that one. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> and that, after that, that everyone, that, we'll, after that, we'll get right into the confessions. Because, yeah, this is yes. supposed to be a holy show. We're, we're, look, we're, we're showing Yeah, we've got stuff. knives. We're going to make people holy. It's not, it's, it's not the, you know, it's supposed to be, you know, to help people. And here we go. We want to kill people. It's not nice. It's not nice. No, we only want to yeah. kill bad people, Jimmy. Yeah. So I'm, I'm just going to show you a couple of my. A couple of my toys out here. This is what I do with my bedroom week when I'm sleeping is at night. Is the grenade, Jimmy? You got the grenade, too? No, I'm not going to take the grenade. I don't know, because I don't want to scare no. people with the grenade. The yeah, pin so, could yeah. slip out. The pin could slip out. It could, yeah. I don't, I, I don't need, I, it's not really actually locked. You, so might, you might actually right. need to turn the light on for this, Jimmy, to see it properly. So one of my fans made this for me. This is a, <clears throat> this is a, one of those oh, yeah. jacks. Yeah. What is it? Yeah, it's got lead on the end, and it's a little leather. Yeah. He actually put a, I don't know if you could see it, but he put. It was like a sex uh, toy. He put the iron bull yeah. on. See it? The iron yeah. bull. It's kinky. Yeah. yeah. That's what you just whack him around the head with. Yeah, this is like if you just laying in bed and you got to just reach out, you know, to like you know take somebody's yeah. teeth out. Girlfriends you know, giving you a course, bit of mouth. You just then of course I have. Up. Then I have the, have this on the other side of my bed. You know, that's my. Uh, samurai, <laughs> that's you know. katana. Yes, this Jimmy, is, this is, this Jimmy, is I'm right with you. Yeah. Oh, God, I wish I had a katana. <laughs> Mine's full katana, too, right in the handle. Full right? tang? Yeah. So then we got Look this that. one here. If I can't, one. Uh, yeah. if I, that's beautiful. I like that, Lee. So if I can't get out of bed fast enough, I use this old bad boy right here. This is the best. Yeah. I yeah. actually carry this around me, so this here, right? Yeah. Look at that. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Right? yeah. yeah you that's, that's, going, that's going full yeah. Rodney King. Oh yeah, this this oh this will, this will really do you. So we got one more here, not the grenade. I don't want to leave that. Leave the grenade in the in the drawer. So, yeah, this yeah. is the zombie killer here. Now I'm going to show you. This has multi functions on this one. Okay, yeah. so once you pull it out, okay. Whoa! So you got this. You, know, you got this nice, you know, curved, yeah. you know, to, for the head or whatever. And then if you if you go underneath in the crotch, it has the it has the, uh, the gutter. You see, yeah. You see the, if, there's the, any, uh, if there's any police it, watching, he just uses this for watermelon. <laughs> this is for watermelon. That is, this is for He's the garage. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, uh, Jimmy! If the zombie apocalypse goes down, I hope I can. I got to link up with you. <laughs> I'm linking up with uh, you, man. Don't mention, don't mention all the other guns he has in the room and shit. So that... Yeah, no, seriously. Like my objective will be, we must get to Jimmy in New York. <laughs> let's just let's just say if someone breaks into our church. They'll be meeting God at the pearly gates very quick. <laughs> oh my goodness! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. That's I just carry one. this under my cardinal. Outfit. Yeah, you're a samurai <laughs> cardinal. I use it. I use it like a walking stick. You this, know, you know uh, this stuff never leaves. I just have to let you know that this stuff never leaves my house. It's always in my house. No, no, never no. I don't leave home unless he's de unless he's depressed, sitting by the water yeah. with the grenade in the car. Then I gotta. <laughs> Like you know, even this, I bought this, you know, this is 30 something years old, this thing, you know. But so, is it loaded, Jimmy? Uh, um, no, it's not loaded right now. No. Okay. Yeah. And, and, and of all those yeah. things we just showed you, this will probably kill you the most. The sausage and egg uh, muffin. Quit it, dude. I'm so yeah. hungry. God. I like your katana. Your though, hamburgers. Good. Your hamburgers. Let me see your katana your again, Lee. I like the katana. Let me see that one again, dude. I'll take that katana. That that 
calorie katana. <laughs> Look how it's got like the blood down the side this far. Yeah. And That's then nice. the handle, underneath the handle has a gold dragon. Let me see. Pull the blade out of it. Let me see what the blade looks like. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Black. Good. I like that. <laughs> That's nice, really. That's pretty cool. Uh, I like the way you put that back with that little sound, you know. That's <laughs> for when that's for when little auto boys don't do as they're told. <laughs> you know, I think in my shed I have like a really cheesy from the flea market when I was in high school. Oh, I, got, I got a fake Kill Bill Atari Hanzu sword. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I love that no, thing. I that gotta say, you know, shit in the in the neighborhood with it. You, you see this one, Tyler? This 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 one cost me a grand. This this uh, it's, it's full tang. It's the real deal. It's full I tang, proper, man. All the way. I had the proper um ones from the movie Blade that go on your back. The two of them. <laughs> so cool. I love. They came them. with the vest. You clip it on, and they just. <laughs> That's awesome. This this whole thing comes apart. I mean, you could you could take the whole you could take the handle right off. It has a you can knock the pin out, you know, and take the handle off, you know. Damn. Yeah, this this was this was a my tattoo nice. artist was really into Japan. He went over there to where the forty seven Ronin were built, and he needed to do a lot of free tattoos for me. So I ordered him a very expensive katana to come from Japan, come in this beautiful long velvet case and that, and I gave it to him as a gift. He couldn't believe it. Wow, what a badass. Hmm. Well, yeah, that was well, a lovely show and tell, but why don't we? Go. Go? We got some good new confessions, oh. and it's going to take us some time, I'll bet. So. Let's do it, huh? We got our McMuffins. We got our katana. We got Jimmy with his drip tray on. Yeah, he's got his drip ready for the wine. Okay. Hello, priests. When I was 14 years old, one day I saw my younger brother sleeping with his mouth open. Uh-oh. This could go a couple different ways, right? <laughs> I'll have it goes the way I'm thinking. <laughs> I thought this is the perfect time, and I fart in his mouth, LMAO. Uh, he got up the second of the fart and chased me around the house, but I calmed uh, him down by convincing him that he must be dreaming. I just wanted to get that off my chest. Love the show. Merry Christmas. <laughs> so, well, that's not really too bad. That's more like, that's the sort of shit you do sometimes with your brubby. You might shave his eyebrows off, draw pencil on his face. and Now, I was thinking more like he was going to ejaculate his... in his mouth or oh, pee or no, what put the his... Hell? That's where my bag. mind went straight away. I was thinking a tea bag, maybe at the worst situation. Uh, I was going for the old, and uh, uh, but God farting, damn. farting. You've really let me down on this one, so it's not even really bad at all. So you are forgiven. <laughs> you are forgiven, but I expect next year <laughs> go back and really stick it to him and write back to it. You're forgiven if you do something worse. I'm very let down. I'll says. forgive you if you go back and really do it properly. <laughs> Shit in his mouth next year. Come on. No. <laughs> so I, I, I'm, 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 I'm a little lost on this one. So he, he, he <laughs> already. <laughs> 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 How can you get lost on this one? I, I, had, a, I had a long day, Lee. Oh, so <laughs> let me let me get this straight. The guy. Was, okay. Yeah. Okay. The guy <laughs> fought it in his mouth. Yeah. What, what, what was the reason for that? But his brother, and he was sleeping, so he just thought it would be funny. Oh, I got you. I got you. Are you with us now, Jimmy? Yeah, I got you now. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. maybe, Jimmy, you can fill in the blanks like you did about the guys on the bench. But there's more to it, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was priceless. All right, so you know, uh, whatever the guy. Did what what happened, Jimmy? What really happened? <laughs> So no, I'm just uh, I'm just. His brother was laying there naked, <laughs> masturbating with a hard yeah, on. Yeah, so his brother was laying there him. naked. He he was chiseled, you know. He was he didn't have any sheets on. <laughs> Come on, Jimmy, give us the real story. <laughs> yeah, that's that's probably what happened. What happened was the guy was. <laughs> <laughs> The guy was, you know, his brother was laying in bed. He was, you know, probably the sheets were going up and down. And, you know, he's, yeah. he, he was watching the whole thing. And then he was probably, yeah. you know, his brother was getting sick of the whole thing because he was probably masturbating for a good 15, yeah. 20 minutes. Yeah. And, you know, and he had to hold the gas in while he was watching. 
<laughs> of course, yeah. So what happened was, you know, he knew we had a he knew we had gas because he had broccoli earlier this afternoon. So he just, oh, even that he the just, menu. Very good, Jimmy. <laughs> well, I used to sniff underwear. I know, I know where people eat. Oh, yeah. anyway, oh, that's right, that's right. You and Greg Valentino. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So, so uh, Jimmy just knows by the confession the way he talks, what he ate. Yeah, he doesn't even need yeah. the underwear. Yeah. <laughs> Carry on, I'm, Jimmy, figuring, let us I'm know. figuring. I'm figuring when the kid was laying in, he was masturbating in the sheet. Yeah. And it was kind of like it was kind of dark out, you know. But yeah. it was still kind of a little. There was a little light coming in through the window, yeah. so he yeah. could see. Yeah. And he was just about to climax, and you know, at the end when he's going, he <laughs> fell asleep <laughs> like that there. And that's when he struck. He says, "I'm doing it now." Yeah. He ran over to the bed. He dropped his drawers, and he just dropped his butt right on his brother's mouth to just let it go. And that's. Yeah. That's probably what yeah. happened. So he's feeling bad about it now because his brother yeah. was actually in a moment of of, of extreme pleasure. Yeah, uh, and, and uh, then you know he ruined, he, and then he, he ruined it. <laughs> and then he killed the moment. You know, I yeah. look, I get it, I get it, man. I, I just don't, I just don't see why he didn't write that in the in the beginning and tell us the whole thing. Where I yeah, he, 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 he should. Yeah, he told. Why do you go? Why go leave it to Jimmy to pull the truth out of you, man? Come on, be yeah, <laughs> You know, he was just telling us the partial story, man. You got to yeah. elaborate. Jimmy knows. Story. You can't lie to Jimmy. Jimmy can yeah, tell you lie like, I, I've been around a long time, man. I've been trying yeah. to, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There anyway, we go. I, 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 I salute him. I, I give him one yeah. of these, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good job. All right. Good job, brother. Great, great work. Yeah. We're done. I know I got a few more. Actually, yeah. this next one... That was just a setup because this next one's a freaking doozy. It's like a whole page long. Okay. Buckle I'm up. Gonna go, I'm gonna let Jimmy go. I'm gonna let Jimmy go first. To fill in the <laughs> on this. this is uh, it, it's it's a good one. It's a long one, but a good one. Okay. Well, take it slow because Jimmy has to keep up. Take it slow. I, I, yeah, I, I have to absorb right. it. Like, you know, like look, I'm one of those guys when I read a book, I have to go back and read the pages again. You know. Let me just. I'll be. Let me just close my door real quick. Is that bad, Tyler? You gotta close the door. Yeah, yeah. I think he's taking his pants <laughs> off for this one. <laughs> he's getting ready for this one, Jimmy. You know? no, no, oh, it's under the, it's under, oh, Tyler's back. Okay. I'm good. Yeah, no. Yeah, the, the lady right. came back home and was, he just had some groceries I did. Max is being kicked out the room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Max trying to get kicked out. Okay, so uh, that's how it starts. Uh, I can't believe the music's this music's a bit loud. Huh? Music's no, we can hear it. We, we, we can hear okay. him. Yeah, no, I okay. hear him. I, I hear him. I'm good. You can turn up a little bit. There we go. <laughs> Is that good? Yeah, okay. yeah. Let it go, baby. I can't End believe. All right, here it goes. I can't believe this happened, and I can't believe I'm writing it. My best friend's father passed away a few weeks ago. Maybe a month ago, a little more. I obviously have been there for my friend. I grew up with him. I've known him his fa and his family his whole life. My whole life. I went to the funeral. We got together afterwards, and everything went fine. My friend was obviously grieving. The whole family was. I never felt like his mother looked at me other than like another son. You can already see where this might be going, huh? Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. My, okay, so on this day, I felt like she was holding me a little too tight when she was crying. And she started fondling my ass after dinner. <laughs> I was going through grief. That's grief. Grief it, can do I, strange I know. Things. Grief does. Yes, grief presents in weird ways. That's what I was thinking. I was looking around to see if anyone was noticing. And no one was. Even if they were looking, they couldn't see much. It was like she was hugging me. My back was to the wall. She was crying on my shoulder and squeezing my right ass cheek tightly and kind of putting her chest against mine. You, you know how ladies do that. And hips Ooh. against mine. I was so uncomfortable, but also aroused. Oh, I'm such a piece of shit. I can't believe this. I can't believe I'm typing this. Can't believe it's a real thing. I would always bust my friend's balls about how hot his mom was. Oh, no. Been a thing a whole time. I would bust my friend's balls about how hot his mom was. I mean, she literally is 62. It looks like she's 42. So hot. And he starts describing her. Perfectly smooth, silky smooth tan skin with full breasts, round hips, and a fat ass. P-H-A-T. I'm 5'8", she's 5'2". I'm 40 and on Sussanon, 250 and EQ. Yoked! Oh, so it's oh, not like she it. doesn't want it as well. But oh. I'm also married with two kids and oh. have to be sexually satisfied with my wife. 
He just got to keep throwing you curveballs. Yeah. Who's five years younger than me and even hotter than this chick. What are you doing, buddy? But not by much. Long story short, I've been effing this woman for the past two weeks every weekend, and I feel like I'm going to crash and burn, and I don't know what to do. Oh, I forgot. And, and then he actually wrote me a few more times, so I compiled it. I'm going to stop the pipe work because it's driving me crazy. <laughs> oh, I forgot to mention, she reached out to me on Facebook, and we started talking two days after the funeral. She was one who initiated it, and she was pretty straight oh, to the that she wanted to come over. This take in, Jimmy. Are you getting all this, Jimmy? Are you getting it all this? I, I did. I got a little I got a little lost in the beginning, though. But, yeah, <laughs> I, I, I did. I, 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 so who's in the casket? We'll, we'll review. We'll review. The husband. The woman's husband. Oh, the woman's husband was in the casket. Yeah. And this was his friend's mom? Yeah, his yeah. best friend's uh, dad died. This is his best friend's mom. This is like at, at the you. wake, is it? At the wake after. Yeah, like at the little get-together after. So let me, let me, let so, me, let me, so let me ask you a question. This is the guy's best done. friend. Oh. But is it, re is it regarding <laughs> previous material? No, no, it was about, to, go ahead, finish this. Okay, finish yeah, we don't have too much, okay. So, anyways, I, I'm, I'm listening. I gotta get a little more wine for this because I'm I really enjoying the story. It's a good one. Yeah, it's pretty juicy. It's pretty juicy. Okay, so she was the one who initiated. He claimed she was straight to the point that she wanted to come over for dinner, and I am an asshole, so I did. Sorry, I should have reread what I was writing to make sure I wrote everything. We went back and forth online for a little bit. Things started getting sexually charged through Messenger. Ooh. Shout out to Facebook Messenger. I wanted her so bad. I knew she wanted me, but I've been married for 10 years and I've never cheated on my wife. Years. 10 years, never cheated on my wife. And here I am. I don't feel like she's ever going to let me go. And I don't know if I want her to, but I know I can't keep this up lying about working late. I can't keep this up. I don't want to hurt my wife or my two kids. But oh my God, dude, this chick rides me like a effing bull. <laughs> Not no. like a chicken bull, I hope. Make. <laughs> Makes me cannoli so effing hard every time. Bro, oh I can't God. show my wife my back because it's covered in her scratches. No. Literally, I have been bleeding from my back and she broke her nails twice. She is climaxing, screaming Spanish. It's so effing fire. Oh, God. I know I can't stop because it's so good. I totally effed, no pun intended. I think it's the hot oh. Spanish exotic shit that's got me hooked. I'm Italian, so is my wife, blah, 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 blah. Okay. All right. What do you guys think? F FML. Take, take, take that away, Jimmy. Un un untangle that web of whatever. <laughs> that well, sword did tail. I I understand the whole, you know, because we are priests, so I understand the whole, uh, you know, lust flesh type thing. Yes. You know, I I because I we can't we can't do that. We can't touch it. Because one of the reasons why I became a priest is because <laughs> I'm 64 now. And yeah. my my lust has gone out the fucking window. Yeah. So I, I really, you know, I, I so now I think more logically because I don't think with the little guy anymore. I think yeah. with the bigger guy. Yeah. So you know, I, I, I'm I'm beyond all that. But I, I understand. I was young once. He was what do you say? He was forty. Very young. Yeah, I think he's very young. Years. Yeah, he's he's still young. But anyway, so I, I have to be brutally honest. Uh, he don't want to hurt his wife and children. He already did. He's already yeah. sleeping with this woman. Oh. So, for, you know, for him to say he didn't want to hurt his wife and children, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I mean, let, let, let's reverse it for, you know, what if he found out that his wife yeah. was, was banging, uh, you know, uh, her, her best friend's uh, husband that the wife died and was yeah. first. And she's she's doing this guy. I mean, how mm -hmm. would he feel about that? I don't think he would feel very good about that. No, so, no. You know, and 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 the woman, if you you know, if I want to send this message to this gentleman who's forty years old. I don't know his name, but I'm going to tell you right now: if this woman is effing you, and her husband was in a box, and she was feeling your ass at the wake, <laughs> right? While a poor husband was ice cold in a box and she's rubbing your mm. ass and hugging you and uh, rubbing her breast. I wonder how that relationship was going. What kind of woman is this, man? Yeah. I mean, do you really want to be in the, this is a woman that goes to the extreme. No so what's going to happen? I'm going to no I'm going to I'm going to no respect. So no honor. No. So I'm going to I'm going to project a little here in the future. Okay? Yeah. You're going to you're going to call mm -hmm. it, you're going to say to yourself finally, I got to call the quits. My poor wife, my children. Mm -hmm. Honestly, you said you had great sex with your wife, and she's younger than you, and everything is great. I don't know really what the hell you're doing, but anyway, make a long story short. When you break up with this woman, because I oh. think she's got screws, you know, loose in her He's brain. gonna let the wife yeah. know, I reckon. That's right. She's gonna come back at you with a. She's got brother. nothing to lose. She ain't got yeah. nothing to lose. 
She's no. got nothing to lose. My husband's dead. She's, She's got nothing you. to lose. He's going to blame and, the guy. And, and you've been doing her now for I don't know how long. What did you say? What, what, what did you say? What did you say, Tally? He was doing a good Weeks now. Weeks. 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 You think you're going to just tell this woman, listen, I got to call a quits mm-hmm. because I feel bad with my wife and my children. You think she's going to listen to you? The woman was rubbing your ass cheek. Her husband was cold in a box. And who, knows, and who knows what his yeah. best friend's like. Maybe his best friend's one of these psycho oh, people. No. And, he's going, and she'll make up some story. I want you to know your best friend come around here and touch me up. And she'll put it all on him. So now his Absolutely. best friend's going to go around and beat his ass. That yeah, could very yeah. well happen. She's gonna she's gonna put a twist on the story. Absolutely. She'll play the victim. She'll play the victim. There are people out there like that. They always it's like they that always, sunny in Philadelphia episode. They they, they, of. they always they 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 they're really professional at the uh, at the you know turning, turning things yeah. right, turning things around and making it look like you. You know, they, yeah. I, I know people like that. So anyway, make a long story short. I think when the time comes when he's ready to call the quits and hang it up, she's not going to be so likely to want to be doing no. that. And there's going to be some issues. And I tell you right now, if the girl, what if the woman turns around and says, oh, yeah, oh, you want to stop effing me? Okay. Oh, no. All right. All you right. can't how stop about effing I, how, me. How about I just make a phone call and tell your mm. wife what we've been doing for the last two yeah. or three weeks? What do you or think maybe she's that? even had a camera set up, video, and taking photos. Yeah. How about the and text? say, you want to break, sure you want to break it off? Look what I yeah. got here. Yeah. I'll send these to your how wife. How about, how about, you know, how about I, I have texts? All the, I yeah. saved all the tech because if you text her, that's yeah. evidence. You know, she, you never text anybody. Sending you pictures probably, could have been sending photographs. Absolutely. You know, when now you're going to destroy you know, your wife. Your I'm two sure, kids are going to be upset. I'm, your I'm, best yep. friend. I'm sure one night when she was laying in the bed and her legs were in the air like a big V yeah. and you were <laughs> down there. You know, your head was down in there between you, and you were totally just all lusted yeah. up with flesh like, and, click, and, click, and vagina, click. And, 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 and all of a sudden the woman's just going like, click, 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 with your boots, yeah, your yeah. head down there, you know, doing your thing, and, uh, you know, yeah. she's probably got all of those, too. So be prepared, bro. Or when, or when he's asleep and she gets up, she pulls the sheets back while he's laying there. Yeah, naked. Click, click, absolutely, click, 100%. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. So I, I have to, I have to, I don't want to scare you and I don't want to like make you feel bad and, but you're uh, fucked. you know, uh, but, you're scared, you're <laughs> but watch your back, bro. <laughs> start, start, start making, start making a private bank account because when your missus finds out, she's taking you to the cleaners. Ooh, I was just listening to a hilarious song. It's and like, I got to tell gonna you, leave too- your ass is going to take half. Oh, that's it's gold digger. <laughs> and, I, and I have something else to say. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. That, don't break your glass, Jimmy. Don't hit it too hard. No, no. If if this if this woman is as vicious as I think she's gonna be, and you have two small little ones home, yeah, and your wife finds out about this because this yeah. woman's gonna give yeah. her all the info with pictures and texts, yeah, and you you're not gonna be able to explain yourself out of that one. Mm-mm. You know, uh, she's not your wife's not going to believe a word you say anymore from that point on. You're screwed, nope. and you'll be paying child support for the next. If, mm-hmm. if they go to college. You can add another four years on top of the 18. Mm. You're screwed, brother. Screwed. Yeah. Yes. And if you Jimmy, got a, if you got a job with a pension. That, Jimmy had to check on the wall to prove that, didn't you, Jimmy? I you do. I got it, baby. <laughs> I, actually, I actually saved my, uh, my, my – I got a letter from the child support unit. I oh, actually shit. framed it. I put it on a wall and I framed it, yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. awesome. You know, when, I, when I finally got it after 20-something years – the child support unit sent me a letter, and I—I I, I never forget. It was the last letter I, I opened up. I saw the mail, and I said, it "said child." I was like, "Oh no, not why?" You know? I opened it up, and it says, "Congratulations, you finished your obligation. Paid in full. You have a zero paid in full." And I was like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> and I, I immediately went to Staples. You got, and I got you a went, frame. You went, and I, fuck that! That could have brought me the house at Cape Cod. Oh, oh, absolutely, hundred <laughs> percent. But you know what? You know, it was supposed to be for my children, but I don't think it really went to my kids. But that's what I hate. That's I the hate problem, I right? Yeah, that's the problem. That. I don't know if you guys would take money from their men a good amount, and they'd be out getting their hair done, their nails done. Isn't that the kids wear the dirtiest oh, clothes? Yeah. It's all going to the woman. Well, my kids actually wore clothes with different names in it. She was taking. Her girlfriends were giving her underwear with the, the kids' names in it, you know, and they oh were, my, my kids were wearing that. Yeah, so that was pretty bad. Mm-hmm. But anyway, make a long story short, uh, you know, I think that what they should really do is set up some kind of a fund. So when the when the gentleman has to pay the child, support, <laughs> you know, it goes into some sort of a fund for the kids. So yes, they're for young, the kids. 
Yeah, so right. So when they get, get older, they'll have a couple of hundred thousand, you know, mm-hmm. in college and, and all this other stuff and uh, let her figure mm-hmm. out her bills. You know? I thought you were saying we should set up a fund for our boy here with the story. Yeah. And for, if she or, or no, he, there, like there's a, no saving even have like a food, no or even like if, if the money goes, like the ex has like a, here we have Coles and Woolworths. That's the grocery store. If they have like a card to the grocery store, which you can load money on, so it can only be used for buying exactly, food man. and that for the kids and stuff or, like or that. Clo- or clothes, food or clothes. Yeah, that's it. exactly. I know, but you know what? The courts don't look at it like that. They look no, at it like no. you know they. It's for, it's for her lights, the, the, yeah. the, the whatever her car paint. You know, but the thing is that they want equal rights. So fuck them. It's like it's like these ones where you could be a millionaire for twenty years, right? She's been poor for twenty years. She marries you for one year. Now she gets half. She goes. That's the lifestyle I'm accustomed to. I'll be like, you were more accustomed to the twenty years of living like a pauper. So fucking go back to that. Yeah. I, you know what? But it don't work like that way. That's no, like I, I'm all for it. If you're in the beginning and you start a business together, that's fine. Half and half. But yeah. if you've already accumulated this money without her and she's right. just come into it and after a year she leaves and takes half, I'm like, how's yeah. that fair? How's that yeah. fair? It's not. But no. you know what it is? I, I got I got to say, you know, uh, the, the laws oh. <laughs> were made in the 60s here in America. Mm. They were, that's when the, when the moms, the wife stayed home and took mm. care of the children, and they developed these laws then. So when you yeah, left yeah. or something happened, you had to support the woman yeah, yeah. because mm-hmm. she was right. So, but things have changed over the last. Oh, yeah. Isn't it funny? Know. They want they want equal rights now. So it's like you want equal right. rights. Go get you a know. job, bitch. Don't take my money. Go get your own. They they should look at things each case differently, but they don't. Yeah. You know, I, I, don't. I think it's you know. Yeah. Well, and if I, she I gets on that what, stand, Jimmy, and turns the tears on, you double fucked. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so I mean, when I used to go to court, you know, I I I used to I used to wait online for hours, man, just to get mm-hmm. you know through the metal detectors. But did they know? look at you differently too in the courtroom because you're this big sort of muscular guy? She's the little girl, and they look at you like you. <clears> well, you're I, like I, the... my lawyers tell me wear wear a big suit jacket, you know, wear a big yeah. shirt, you know, cover up, you know, don't look. Uh, yeah. You know, but I tried. Don't look threatening. Don't look like a toxic male, Jimmy. <laughs> right. Don't look like a like a uh, a man. Don't look like a man. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. An alpha male. Yeah. Right. You know. So. Yeah. Whatever. Right. I mean, you know, it it, 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 it is what it is. It just, I got through it. You know what I mean? I just feel bad for guys. I hear stories all the so, time. So what we're saying now is, if you have to go to court, men, walk in. Say you're non-binary. Put a handbag on and go all oh, swishy swashy. Go. Oh, but your honor. It's like, I just fell in love with a man. Act like as gay as you can. That way, the judge will go easy on you. Either, yeah, that, or, sure or, either, 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 either that or just like, you know, color your hair, you know, beat up your face somehow and come in with a walker, yeah. with a long, there you, train, go. With a, you know, with a long trench coat on, you know, yeah. you know, whatever, you know, whatever you could do. But, you know, the bottom line is, here's the bottom line, all jokes aside. Mm-hmm. This gentleman that's playing, he's playing with fire. Okay, oh. that's what he's doing. So what fire. he's doing right, yes, what he's doing right now is <laughs> against against the you know we're priestly. So what he's yep. doing is against the Bible. It's adultery. It is. That's it number is. one. And number two, if his wife and finds two, out, which is two kids involved, is even worse. The two little kids. So now, and here's yeah. the other thing too. Imagine, imagine, you know, imagine this gentleman. He he decides he doesn't want to be with this woman anymore, right? And she mm. says, uh, F you and whatever, you know, she's, we'll see about that. And, you know, maybe she'll lose oh. her mind. Now the guy's got to like walk. It might be like that. It doesn't, you know, it seems like that may very well happen. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So now what happens is now the guy's got to get up every morning and look at his wife with a yeah. knot in his stomach and say, oh, oh, my God, this could end. I couldn't do it. I couldn't this, do it. That's why when I cheated on my I ex- couldn't. I couldn't do it either. I couldn't and do it. The worst. And as I even I tell like Rachel, I said, my biggest regret was when I cheated on Kathy because everything was going great. I thought the grass was greener. I felt that guilty right. that when I told Kathy because things were so perfect, I mean, she just fell to the floor crying because she couldn't understand. And me seeing that hurt that I caught that per- caused her, that's my biggest regret. I'd never want to see that again because just the pain in her face and the way she looked like, how? What What happened? What We're going so good because she had Absolutely. no idea. But yeah. I felt so guilty. I couldn't keep it inside. And she's like, we can try work it out. But I'm like, nah. Because I knew that I'd broken her trust. She could probably forgive me, but never really trust me again. And that's why we separated. But you I've always said that was my, 
I always said that was my biggest regret, causing somebody that much hurt out of the blue like that. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's 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 you know, if you have any kind of morals, any kind mm-hmm. of conscience, you know, you're hurting your wife, and then if she finds out and she's mm-hmm. devastated, you got to live with that man for the rest yeah. of your life. That you know that you crush your wife, oh, man. And how many and how many though yeah. two have actually happened had that happen to them, and when shit hits the fan like that, the wife can be emotional and do whatever, go drink it, and sadly. You get the ones that, okay, you broke up with me. Well, you're not getting the kids. And they've done that where they kill themselves and the kids. That's happened a lot in breakups, too. Yeah, you know, yeah, so you, you don't know. know. Absolutely. You never know how unstable it can go and how far it can Absolutely. go. Absolutely. You don't know how far. Right. Once that emotional uh, uh, oh. feeling uh, is, 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 is projected onto the, to the wife, mm-hmm. you don't know which way it's going to go. I mean, it could, it, could, yeah. it could really end up in a disaster. And imagine yeah. that. God forbid. Yeah. You know, she offed herself because it's of, happened here where it's happened, and you've you seen know. those women who you know get the car and the kids and into the fucking water they oh, go. Oh, and God, it's got yeah. dark, yeah. but it's, it's happened, it's happened a lot. Yeah, you know, look, you never know, Tyler. You know, this is you're talking about. Listen, the greatest gift that we have, and we're, we're priests, the greatest mm-hmm. gift that we have in this world is love, right? Mm-hmm. That's what God gave us the, the ability to love, and that's a very strong. Emotion oh, yeah. and it controls a lot of stuff. You know yeah. what I mean? Love, and then, love and then is, it goes the other way powerful. too, because it's like Jimmy said, when you go to court, even though the guy's caused this, and he could be like, you know, bad now. So the judge has said she gets most of the visitation. He gets them once every whenever. Then there's been every a lot weekend. of fathers, there's been right. lots of fathers who go, fuck you, and the father's the one who's come and done the fucking murder, suicide, and killed everyone. So you gotta you got it. You don't know how it can be how how something you think is fun at the moment, and you think, "Yeah, it's not hurting anyone." Uh, it can turn into the fucking shit uh, show. Uh, and, then, uh, and then you got to think about this too, Lee. You got two small children, right? Now your wife yep. tells you to get, to get the hell yep. out of the house because she found out about this woman. Mm-hmm. Who, uh, and they're wondering where's daddy gone or whatever. Why is daddy? Not, only, not only not only that, down the road, all of a yeah. sudden, you know, if if you know your wife meets another guy, right? Mm-hmm. Now the guy's coming over your house. He's in. Yeah. You're, you're going to drive by, and I've done it. Mm-hmm. You're going to drive by yeah. the house, look in the windows in the middle of the night, and see some guy in there playing with your yeah. kids, man. Yeah. How are you going to mm-hmm. feel and, about And just that? say he's not a good guy. Say like he's one of those guys that drinks yeah. and he treats the kids bad. You don't know. He yeah, he might. Yeah. And I've had that happen where a guy grabbed yeah. the kid's arm and yelled at him, and you would yeah. never do anything like that because you love no. your children. But this guy's doing it, and you can't do shit about it. No. All no. because you could. could Control that little son of a bitch in your front yeah. behind your fly, mm-hmm. all right? Because you had to go be with this jerk, powerful, who, powerful who's, man. who's sticking, scrabbing your ass out of husband's yeah. wake. Yeah, I you mean, know what I'm curious yeah. about, Jimmy, I, and we, <laughs> I wonder if she really made the first advance or if he did anything. Like, I just mm-hmm. wonder. Or was it a very mutual? Like they want, they didn't want for that embrace, and they yeah. both kind of like. Oh, uh, it sounds good. like it's more of a mutually thing because for her to go further. If he had a sort of been standoffish and shit, she would have been right. like, "Oh shit, sorry." But he must have reciprocated somehow, which gave her to oh, go ahead. He's not pushing me away. He's enjoying this. Absolutely. I'll write to him on Facebook. A little bit flirty, flirty, yep. and that's he how it went. So he, 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 need, he needs to stop it now. Live with the guilt, and hopefully, if she never says nothing, I move on know, with your man. life. Because that what you think? Uh, I was going to say, what's the final advice here? I Oof. don't know, man. You need I'll to you, stop it. You need I'll, to stop it and just pray that this woman doesn't <laughs> go bad and go and tell your missus when you tell her. I'm going to give you the final advice. Oh, okay? he, he yeah. chimed. Give What's going to happen is you're going to live in fear now. Yeah. For the net, for the from here on in, you're going to live in fear. Even if you, <laughs> even if you, even if you, even it is. Even if you cut it now. You're going to get up every day, every yeah. night in fear that yeah. this woman's going to come around and do something to yeah. screw up your marriage yeah. with your kids and you your, might wife, even just come home and from your work. beautiful yeah. wife that you had great yeah. sex with and you threw it all away for this mm-hmm. jerk. All just right? say you come home from work, right, and your wife just had a bad day. Nothing to do with you. You come home from work and your wife's acting weird. She's quiet. You're going to be thinking, fuck, does she know? That's right. Older. It's That's gonna right. eat at you and eat at you, and it's That's like, right. Yeah. And when he goes, you might even go the opposite way and go. Listen, I got all these photos. You got a wife and kid every month. If I don't get a fucking thousand dollars in my account, she, she could, could blackmail you. She you could fuck. be that way too. Yeah, yeah, you don't know. 
Yeah, you're just... talking about a woman that was grabbing your ass at her husband's wink. Yeah. Yeah, she's capable of doing anything, bro. Who she knows? Yeah, now a, woman, a woman scorned Jimmy. Oh, she she crossed the line. Yeah. Now what's going to happen is when you, when you go to work now oh. and you're at work, you're, you're going to be preoccupied, your mind, because you're going to say to yourself, is this yeah. girl reaching out to my wife? I'm at work. Oh, my God, what's going to happen? Imagine, and then, imagine then when you're going to be movies. driving home at night with your car, yeah. oh and you're going to be saying, holy guys. shit, what's going to And then you're going to go home <laughs> and open the door, and your wife's going to say, hi, honey. And you're going to go, oh, shit, thank God. This this night is okay. She didn't <laughs> get well, Imagine, imagine gonna, it's like the movie you're gonna gonna suffer. where you're going to be at work. Imagine at the movies, you're at work. And your wife gets a text. Hey, you never know. You know your best friend, Mark? Guess what? I was out today and I met his mother. We had coffee. She's a lovely Ooh. lady. She's going to she's gonna come over for lunch. <laughs> now you want to go home and there's your wife and the woman you're treating with sitting at the fucking table. That could happen too. She could be <laughs> your wife. Yeah. Listen, there's yeah. many scenarios that oh. could happen. This there guy, are. Speaking of that, Jimmy, what if I, I? I mean, I'm getting a little Pornhub with it, but what if like that scenario happened? He went there, and then he ends up in some kind of threesome situation. Or he comes home and point? finds the wife with the mother in bed. That happened to us on a previous yeah, confession, they did, didn't it? And they left the guy, and they. <laughs> this guy could get effed in so many different well, ways. What, what, what we're trying to say is, yeah, you're truly effed. <laughs> you look at it. You, we've the, the priest have sentenced their worst confession Listen, sentence yet. It's you, a let, sentence you, let, oh, you let that little thing down there, or big thing. Well, I don't know your size of it, but you, you're pretty much let that. Yes, it's going to dictate how your life is going to be. <laughs> you screwed. And let me yeah. tell you something. What you just did, brother, you opened up Pandora's box. Oh. You don't know what's going to happen. Man. You let the, you let the devil the, out of the cage. He opened up the box man. and threw the key away. He threw you, the let key the, away. you let the devil and the demons out of the cage when you when you broke the the the, yeah. the, 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 the bond, when you got married in church in front of Christ on the on the, on the, yeah. on the altar, and you promised yeah. God that you're going to take care of your wife through better and worse sickness, mm. sickness and poor and everything mm. else, and you just crossed the line with that. That, and mm. you you spit in God's face too. So Ooh. don't forget that either. And even so, and even in my cardinal outfit today, no type of exorcism can I put that demon back in the box. <laughs> Nothing can close the no. box once again. The no. lid is open. But we wish you the best so, of luck. Please please write I'm, back to us in a couple of weeks or a month or two. Yeah, we want to know what happened. Able to. We'll, we'll, um, can you see where he's from in the email? Check the obituaries. Hi, you know, Lee. I'm gar Lee Tyler. I'm guaranteeing that this guy, when he watches the show next week, when it goes up, he's going to be very sorry that he wrote that confessional. He's sweating. Yeah, yeah we're, 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 awesome. truthful. We're, we're, we're being <laughs> truthful. We're being truthful because these are the sort of things when you're in that moment, you don't think about the long distance no, type of you thing. Don't. You're just thinking here and now. This is fun. No, he's thinking. The, thinking the, he's thinking with the, the, the length of his chazol. So if it's four yeah. inches or six inches, or that's yeah. the, that's the length of his where yeah. his mind's going. Mm -hmm. and no more oh. any farther than that. So if his if his chazol is six inches long, he ain't thinking any farther than six yeah. inches at that. You point. know what else though? You know? I I wish we had a photo of her. I'm so curious what she looks like. I want to see how good the mother, the 62 year old mother. How good can yeah. she look? Yeah. It doesn't, it doesn't matter if she's the prettiest woman on earth, she can be the devil inside. So. Oh, there's no doubt yeah. about it. That, 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 you know, that pretty the devil works in that, mysterious you know, ways. Tyler, that listen, I'm not saying all pretty girls are, uh, you know, but you can't go by that because yeah. you don't know what the book, you know, you can't judge yeah. a book by its cover. You got a beautiful girl, you don't know what's yeah. inside her. Huh? You know, it's all about the heart and the mind, man. Oh, so, Jim, well, Jimmy, I'm just, yeah, I, I, I sound so shallow, but I'm just saying, like, it might be a little easier well, for him to fall know, for the temptation if to I, him she was hot as hell. You and know, trust whatever. me, those hot, the hot ones, the ones who are hot and know they're hot, listen, Tyler, they, get, they you know, get away with a lot more. They get away with a lot, lot, lot more because I, they're I, so I, pretty. I, 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 Guys I, put up with a lot more of their listen, shit. Sure. Listen, Tyler, listen. Listen, Tyler. I, I've yeah, been, totally. I've been, I, I, I've been through hell and back, man. I, I lived <laughs> ten lives, okay. So I'm beyond, you know, the lust and the and the pretty girl and all that bullshit. Yeah. Okay, so this guy's young, 
you know, if the woman was pretty, that's all he was seeing. And when she grabbed his ass, his, mm-hmm. his little Zazol started doing circles. Yeah. In his pants. It was probably, imagine, and, imagine you know, if you had the hots for her your whole life right. growing up yeah. and she's like right. grabbing your ass now. But the, thing, yes. but the thing is like prettiness, yes. like they say, pretty, whatever is only skin deep. Even exactly. if the girl's not pretty, she's nice, she's happy. You got good communication. Right. You can go out places, have a laugh, have fun. Exactly. She cares for you, you care for her, she takes care of the kids. That's right. all you need in life to be happy. Forget the outer appearance. Yeah, we're not shit arguing about a girl's that fade. Pretty that or not. fade no matter what. So. And I got a news for you, brother, the guy who cheated on his wife. Yeah. No matter how pretty the girl is or you how how much how much you think you mm-hmm. once you're with it three, four, five times and you had her with every yeah. physician known yeah. to man, you you're gonna yeah. get tired of that. And, yeah. and then you're gonna say, wait a minute, this is all this is. Yeah. There's nothing like else. Said, and now gonna, not only there's nothing else. Yeah. It's probably already you buy wearing Ferrari, off. Jimmy. You buy Ferrari and after it's the greatest car for months and months, no one else can drive it. But after six months, you're like, I'm sick of this car. Yeah, you wanna drive yeah. it, take it. I don't give a fuck. It's yeah. like, yeah. No, in the beginning, you're cleaning it, you're waxing the yeah, wheels, oh. you're, you know, you're vacuuming. Don't, go near, wanna, don't, don't, go, don't, don't eat. Wait a minute, you're eating that. Don't eat no potato t- chips in my car. Yeah. Get the fuck out of my car. Yeah. You know, and then after six months, go ahead, eat the chips. Go ahead. Don't yeah. worry. Eat the you chips. Your car's it, looking dirty. Weeks. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll clean it eventually. Yeah, you know. Yeah. That's the same thing. I, I'm not comparing yeah. a woman to a car, but or it's, kinda, it's kind of the same thing. So what's going to happen? Because the car is actually valuable and useful if the woman's so. So, oh, you know, that's not what I'm saying. Crazy and delicious. <laughs> my so. my grandfather always told me, never lend out your car. <laughs> you lend no. out your wife, don't lend out your car. Anyway, make a long story that's short. It's a very grandpa thing to say. Yeah, my grandfather always told me that. <laughs> so the, the the whole thing, the whole thing, what I'm trying to say in a nutshell is his moments of lust. And if mm. this girl was pretty or beautiful, who gives a shit? But if she was, and he was turned off, and the, at the end of the day, when he's done doing his thing, he's mm. going to step back and he's going to say, "What the hell did I do?" Yeah, you know. I mean, this yeah. is all it is. I'm not going for. I'm not going further with this woman. I'm not going to marry. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to leave my wife and kids for her. What did I do? You know, mm-hmm. and that's this yeah, that's is, the kicker, this right? Is, He's happy so, with the wife, right? But so usually, now what's going to happen is that this whole situation is just going to eat mm-hmm. him alive. Oh yeah, and that's man, the worst okay? thing because we've all. I'm sure you've been yeah. there, Jimmy. Where you've been in those relationships where you can't wait to get home to see your missus, your wife, your girlfriend, to eat, to watch a movie, just to hold a hand, and that. But then I've been in those ones where coming home, your brain's always thinking, there's tension in the house. It's almost like you don't want to go home because nothing feels right. It just right. It almost feels like you're in a stranger's house. You don't yeah. want to be there. And that's Walking an awful situation. Show. You want to come home where you're yes. excited to come home and see the wife. And like I said, just sitting there holding hands, watching TV, just makes you feel at ease and peace. And Yep. So the whole yeah. thing is, besides his little, uh, his little uh, wee-wee there, you know, now he's gonna suffer mentally yeah. because now after he did the the deed and it's over because it's gonna be over sooner or later he's not gonna leave his wife and kids for her mm-hmm. and once that's over with once you get mm-hmm. to that point which is probably almost there oh yeah he's, now he's gonna suffer right now so, right now Lucifer's got him by the reach it up and got him by the ankle where he goes from there it's like mm. that's it so so wow. that's that's our wow. advice, that's our that's our take on your confession. Yes. And we wish you well. We and hope we'll try, it works try out. get back to us and let us know the outcome in a couple of months. Yes. Please let us, you know, write us back in a yes. if you can in a Boiler, couple of Boiler, Boiler, mark that email so we can see if he corresponds back. Of course. I'll keep an eye on you the know, confession booth. Yeah, you know, get back to keep an eye on Fox News, CNN News, if you, if you see that sort of thing, <laughs> something's come up. <laughs> An Italian couple yeah, yeah. murdering cold blood yeah. from an adulterous Listen, husband. If, you, if you're capable and you can in the future, because you know you're not duct taped and you're stuck somewhere, please let us know what happened. Please. Oh man, a sentence worse than death bestowed from the police. Oh, it's worse than death. What's oh, worse oh. than death? You know what's worse than death? I'll tell you, Tyler. You know what's worse than death? What? Dying a thousand times, man. That's oh, worse than that. Right now, right now, he's like the, the guy sitting on death row. He doesn't know when the date's coming. <laughs> that's but right. it's coming. And that's the worst it, thing is when you got to sit in and you got to die every day. You know, it's like dying a thousand mm. deaths. I'd rather die to one it'd be like, it'd be like, It'd be like sitting on death row and they say, they, on death row and they say, your death date is on the 1st of January. Like, oh, here it comes, 1st of January. Hold on. We're giving you a stay of execution. 
Now it's the tenth. So now from the first to the tenth, oh. I've got the tenth now. That's what it's going to be like every day. Does she know? Yes. She's acting different. It's going to be yes. like sitting on death row now. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you, guys are, you guys are stressing me out, and I didn't even do anything. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't even, I don't even uh, know this luck, guy. I feel good. Luck, <laughs> yeah. So good happy luck. New Year, my brother. I hope yeah. we wish stay we safe. wish the best for stay you. Safe. <laughs> stay safe. Stay safe. Wow. wow. <laughs> Every night, give, give your kids a hug and kiss because it could be the last time. <laughs> oh, no. Wow. No. And, I'm disappointed. and enjoy your money because you ain't going to have any in the near yeah. future. Salud. <laughs> Go buy what you can now. <laughs> oh, it's ridiculous. All right. This next one is also relationship related, but very different. Okay. Um, okay. But also they're going to need some uh, fixing up from the Cardinals and the priests here. Yeah. All right. So hello fathers. I've been seeing this girl for three to four months now. Fairly, fairly mm-hmm. relationship here. She comes from a pretty wealthy family. Oh, she's taken me to Toronto Maple Leaf games. The family also has Buffalo Bills season tickets. They have taken me on trips. They offer to take me out to dinner all the time. Her mother cooks me meals for work multiple times a week, and I don't even live there. That's kind of weird. I don't see myself marrying this girl, but maybe I just need to give it more time because she seems way more into me than I do her. Red flags left and right for me. I think I'm more into the family than her. Yeah. She can suck a golf ball through a garden hose, as he puts it. So that's one good thing. Wow. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Should I cut ties or give it more of a chance? What do you think? Oh, my God. It sounds like he's... I, like, I hate this guy. Sounds like he's I looking really for every excuse to almost get... <laughs> sounds like he's not really into it and he's just looking for any excuse to get out. Just because someone can give a good BJ, I'm like, that. What? what? It's like, what the hell? It's like, what are you like, doing, mate? It's like, be, be, be single. Be single because... It doesn't even sound like you're into it at all. It's like, oh, I'll test drive this car. It's not really the car I want, but uh, it gets me to point A to point B. I'll just, I'll put up with it until a new model comes out. Oh, it's all right. It's like, man, what are you doing? Come on. Think of the other people too, because yeah. if you're not that into her, you're wasting her time and her Absolutely. love of her life could be out there. And you're just wasting her life and her time because you know deep down that you're going to fuck off at some point, upset yep. her, destroy her. So come on, come on, guys, man. Think, start thinking a bit more with his. Come on, think the of the other, actually, the other person more. Stop thinking of yourself and your feelings. Relationships is two people, and two people's feelings are involved here. It's not just about you. I agree. So, I have to say, give it, give it to him, Jimmy. Give it to him. <laughs> I have to say, uh, let me ring my bell. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. I have to say, Belly is one hundred percent correct. You, so this is going to be my my New Year's resolution to everybody out there, all yeah. the fans, whoever watches mm-hmm. the show, wherever you are. Thank you for watching. But I thank have you. to say something. I have to get something off my chest, and I got to say it from the heart. And I'm talking to myself yeah. as well as I'm talking to you. Okay. Yeah. Be true to yourself. Yes. Be true to yourself. Because when you're true to yourself, good things will happen. Okay? Mm -hmm. So this person here is not being true to himself because Mm -hmm. he's saying he, he don't know if he wants to be with her. She gives a great head. But he don't, you know, he he likes the family, you know. So he's not really being true to himself. He should really sit back yeah. and say to himself, "What am I really doing here? Do I love this girl? Do I want to continue with her? Do I want to marry her? I like the family. They take care of me. They cook for me. They make meals. They're wonderful. She gives great head, but I don't really love her. What am mm. I really? Do? do I have a future with this woman, or I just thinking about my chazol because she could suck a golf ball through a garden hose and all this mm. other shit? That's not what it's about, brother. It ain't about the golf ball through the garden no. hose, okay? Because you could go get a good BJ anywhere, okay? Yeah. It's not hard to give a good BJ, okay? So <laughs> get that out of your mind. Think about what the hell you're doing. Say to you, be, be, be true to yourself yeah. because if you're true to yourself, you know what's going to happen? You're going to walk away. You're going to tell this girl, listen, mm-hmm. this ain't working out. I, I, I really not in love with you enough to like marry you and spend the rest of my life with you. I want to be totally honest with you. I don't, I don't think this is going to work for me. I got a bail. She might get hurt. Yes. 
but she'll yep. be a lot more hurt if you continue on and continue BSing her and getting these yeah. close jobs right. from her. And, and and the longer you do it, the more hurt this woman's going to get. So I think what you should exactly. do now is cut it, walk, just mm -hmm. walk, man, and just say, you know yeah. what? It ain't for me. I'm getting out of here. That's what and you got to do, it's man. Like Jimmy said, you got to be true to yourself because I was even just saying to my wife last night because she always thought when she first met me, she had a boyfriend. And her boyfriend knew a friend of mine, and she saw me. And when she first saw him, she goes, oh, he's a good-looking guy. And so, so, but she thought, oh, he'd be with that type of girl that's fitnessy, fake boobies. And I said, look, I've done all that. Yeah. When, when she sent me the picture of her, well, I never saw a picture of her before when I was on this dating site. I'd get these girls who were overweight and tattoos and kids and that. But I'd always be nice and say thank you, but I'm busy. When I saw her picture, I was like, wow. I said, my mates know I'm on this site. They're just fucking with me because nobody like this has ever sent me a picture. So for a while, I was skeptical about it. But then yeah. I, I told her last night, look, I'm in love with you today as much as with the first day we met. Like, even when she goes to work through the week, I drop her off. I can't wait till 2 o'clock comes for me to go <laughs> pick her up and she comes out smiling. Oh. When she used to work at the other job, I'd hide around the corner and jump out and scare her because I was so happy <laughs> to see her after work. And that's the thing. When you're in a relationship, you should always be happy to see him. And like I said, you don't have sex all the time. I said, to me, just yeah. sitting on the couch, holding a hand, watching a movie, if you're with the person who's right for you, you have that feeling of, like, calmness. You're, yeah. like, content. You're in love. You just – it's hard to describe. You, when you know, you know. You just of course. know it's the yeah. right thing. And like I said, if your missus goes to work or you go to work, like, coming home, it shouldn't be like, oh, hi, babe, how are you? It's like – you should like I get home I can't wait it's like now she's got four days off and I think it's great because she's home in the morning I go to the gym I come home she's there with the cats on the couch and it's like that's wonderful so you got to find the right person who you want to be with like that just hanging out because oh when well, she gives good head she does like, <laughs> no that's just, all he had to be, say about her be single and like and like <laughs> when Jimmy says if you're in doubt just rub one out and stay single yeah it's true I agree I agree I with you more. so when you're in love, you know, with somebody, yeah. uh, you know, like Lee said, it just, you, you, you're, you're in just a really good yeah. euphoria, just, yeah. just having the woman in the room yeah. with you. Exactly. Yeah. And, you feel and, like you know, there's calm and peace about you. Just yeah. You're, you're, you got like some kind of high going on just yeah. because your, your woman's home in the, in the yeah. kitchen or we're in the back. We take a drive yeah. in a car. Just, just being yeah. with this person makes, yeah, we do that. makes, yeah. uh, Makes life and like I said, even if you don't, so like I said, better. in the beginning, yes, yes you get a lot of sex, but even as it goes on, you might go sometimes a week with no sex, but it doesn't matter because just being with that person just gives right. you that same feeling of being in love. You know, some guy goes, Oh, we haven't had sex for a week, but it's like sometimes it's not about that. It's like when you're really of with course. someone, it doesn't yeah. matter because you're just like being with them, just gives you that whole feeling of at peace, you're in love, you feel calm, everything like everything is much. When, when things are right, everything goes right. Yeah, you, know you just I mean? feel like, you just feel yeah. like you're at home. You know, you're yeah, at home. exactly. Yeah, exactly. I I, I get it. you know. So yeah. so this guy, what he's doing is all wrong, and you know, I gotta say, it's 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 probably upsetting him too in in, in one way or another. <clears throat> he's yeah. not settled. And when you're not settled, uh, the vibrations of not being settled can upset yeah. the body rhythm and all of that. You know, the thinking and everything else. So you need to cut it, brother. Yeah, look, we're not saying every relationship. Trust me, it's not going to be flowers and roses every right. day. You're going to have your ups and downs even in a relationship. But you know what you do? You sit down, you communicate, you work it out. Yeah. If your relationship's good, don't do what most people do today like everything else. They throw it away so easy. They throw it away so quick. If you got a good one, yeah, you're not going to agree on everything. You're going to have little arguments, but you work through it together and you move on and just, you know. So the bottom line is that this gentleman is not being true to himself. No. And he's and he's not doing the the woman any favors. So, you know, so or the family because the family's going to get close yeah. to him too. And it's yeah, that's what, be... exactly what's happening. It, it, the the longer the worst. Mm -hmm. The longer the worse. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's like you just that, that's a lesson for me. That's a lesson for me too. That's and and we're not just saying that to you. We're, we're saying that to yeah, ourselves everyone, too. Everyone, everyone. If we're not right, position. if we're not right, if we're not being true to ourselves, we're kind of in the same boat. Yeah. You know yeah. that the longer face it, man, the worse. Face it, man. When you know, you're with absolutely. a girl, right? And you face it, man. When you're with a girl or a girl with a guy, goes both ways. 
yes. you know if they're not the right one. But like you said, you might hang around because he or she's got money or every now and then they take your places, buy your gifts or, like or, you said, the sex is good. Or, or the sex you're, just, good you're, just be, you're being lazy, you're comfortable in yeah. the situation. Yeah, or you, or you, you just don't want to right. You don't want to exactly. be alone. You don't want to be right. alone. Right, exactly. You, gotta, you can't do that because if that's not the person you can see yourself with in the future, right. I'm not, I'm not saying, say, look, even if you can see yourself in the future, look, some relationships yeah. go 10, 20 years, but they could be the best 10, 20 years of your life. But if you're not committed 100%, and I mean 100%, like right. physically, spiritually, everything, get out of it because you're wasting your time, her time, or his time and her time. So, you know, you got it like I, Jimmy said. I, I have to add to that, Lee. The older you get, the harder it gets, too, because oh, yeah. Oh, you, yeah. When, you ha when you're hanging out with somebody and uh, maybe you don't think the person is yeah. right for you, whatever, but, you, yeah. you know, you're older, you don't want to, yeah. you know, you don't want to make yeah. moves because you're older and, and yeah. you know, so that, that there's a lot of, there's well, a lot well, in look, play. Well, look, back to our, look back to our parents and our grandparents. They were married, a lot of them, 30, 40, 50, 60 years. Yes. It wasn't a whole 50, 60 years of peaceful bliss. They had no. their ups and downs, but they communicated, worked through it and got through it together. There's probably days where they hated each other, but you know what? They sat down, and as they always say, never go to bed angry. If you have a problem, sort it out, be right. happy, and you go know, to bed. Also, Lee, what you're saying is back in those days, our grandparents, you know, our yeah. parents, you know, they didn't they didn't just get up and leave back in those days, man. Yeah. You know, when they made yeah. it, they made a commitment, they mm -hmm. stuck it out high or low, yeah. man. They they they, they, yeah. they 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 it wasn't it's not like today. They just yeah. you know they go on the internet, meet another guy yeah. or girl, and they're off. They're running off, you know, yeah. somewhere. And it's not wasn't like that years ago, man. Years ago, and, 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 and we they, know, you know great, women well, and men would turn a blind yeah. eye sometimes, you know, because oh, yeah. they didn't want to mess up their relationship. You know what I mean? So. Oh, yeah. You know, it, it, and my grandparents were together like over 60 years, and I sort yeah. of loved it. But then again, the odd occasion, I saw the days my grandmother would have loved to stab my grandfather. But you know what? <laughs> right. They yeah, didn't. Course. They worked it out. They had their little timeouts right. and got back together. And like I said, they worked it out. They stayed together. They kept the family together. They were like the glue in the family. And it's like I said, exactly. we should all learn from that. But now there's so many broken marriages, so many people having kids who then the father yeah Lee, look at this picture. As she's this, pregnant. Is, this is my mother my father my grandmother in 1955 they were at a wedding yeah. in brooklyn at a place called st george's hotels in the city look look mm -hmm. at the way people were back in those days look at this picture look at this yeah oh, look no, at i look at i look at photos of time. people everybody was dressed to the nines oh. I said that like not long ago. I, I, I saw a photo of like an old sporting event here in Australia, like cricket, you know, like baseball, but it's cricket. And it showed the women and the men there. And they were all dressed like they were going to church. They all had slacks on, like nice dress pants and shirts. Now they're wearing no shirts, things wrapped around their head, drinking beer. It's like it almost seems like the morals of people are getting looser and looser. Look, I'm all for going to have a good time. But you know what? Just show a bit of respect for other people and oh, respect wow. yourselves. I mean, look, look, look at that picture. You know, yeah. uh, my, you know, I didn't, I didn't show you where my mother, my father no. was very hard. To well, I remember my grandmother you know. just to go to the grocery store would put on a nice dress, do her hair nice, just to go to the grocery store. I go exactly. down there now, and there's people wearing no shoes, no tops, in their pajamas. I'm like, <laughs> what's, the, what's the world coming to? It's like, I, I, this is what I'm saying. Like, I, I don't know. Like, I don't know what direction. To, so, you know, a, a lot of a lot of times, I I can't blame people for what they're doing because of the times we we're rolling into. Yeah. I mean, like, you know, back when I was a kid, my mm -hmm. my grandmother, she cooked. She used to come out from Brooklyn and cook for days. She used to oh, make scotchada, lasagna, yeah. oh. meatballs, sausages, you know, broccoli, rob. You know, up. she cooked for days, and then all my family would stop over. My cousins, my uncles, my, yeah. my you know, I, I just yeah. Yeah. Friends, now it's Chef you know. Boyardee in the microwave for two minutes. It's just go, times. Please. Times are different, and and I think relationships mm -hmm. are different too because yeah. of the. But time, the thing is, so I've so noticed, Jimmy. Have you noticed? So the thing is, back then, like you said. They would make things from scratch, like Christmas dinner would start right. for exactly. days in advance. They had the washing machines where you push it through the ringer to get the water out. Before then, they had right. the scrubbing boards. Right. Some didn't even have the good vacuums. It was a broom. Like back then, they had all these things that was hard manual labor just to do the housework and prepare meals, but they always had time for family. 
Now we have vacuums that you just plug into the wall of your house. You have microwaves. You have things you just drive your car. There are so many things now that give humans more time, but yet we keep saying, oh, I don't have time for that. We've got every convenience in the world that yes. should give you more time with your relationship, friends it and family. It just takes it away from them. Yeah, but because that, everyone's like, I don't have time for the family, but I'll sit on Facebook for two hours. Come right. on. It's so you know, fucked you, up. You know, Lee, like my grandmother, she used to scrub her clothes in a, in a scrub board in the sink. In the water. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, you know. yeah, like yeah. yeah. Right, yeah. yeah. And then I remember I'd go with my grandmother out the and, backyard and, 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 and get the she, towel on end, each of the towel, and you'd sw squeeze the towel in different and, directions. <laughs> then Dude, she used to go dried clothes. My grandmother had so the bad. window. She lived on the second, yeah. third floor. She had the yeah. window there with the uh, with the rope, with the pulley. And yeah, she had yeah, the pull across, she yeah. To, yeah, she used to clip the clothes and oh, then you know, yeah. dee, 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 you know, and then put the you know, and yeah. dry her clothes out there. Yeah. No, well, the even when you're a baby, the winter, they're so when you're a baby, there was no disposable nappies when you're a baby. It's all cloth nappies. They had to wash by hand. Tons of yeah. cloth nappies on the clothesline. And then in the winter, my grandmother used to have in one of the spare nappies. rooms. She used to have a, you know the the clothesline in there. She used oh, you have inside, clothes. yeah. Yeah, in, in, you know, inside because my grandmother had those stand up radiators. Yeah. They used to, I remember as a kid, I used to go stay in my grandmother's in Brooklyn on West. It's funny, yeah. like I said, it's so yeah. funny. It's so funny. We have all these modern things now which should give us more time to be with our friends and loved ones, but yet we're all becoming so self centered and in our own little worlds on this sort of shit that we're missing what life's really all about. Yep. So I Not was going to say, when, when I, I never forget when I was a kid, I used to stay at my grandma's. My Sometimes my mother would drop me there and I stayed there for a weekend. Yeah. And I, she had those stand-up cast iron heaters. You know, you, you remember Tyler, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, I don't, and it had, yeah. Oh, it had yeah, the little, yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. It had, the, it had the little steam thing on the end, you know? And I would, yeah. I would as a kid, I remember sleeping, hearing the steam, you know? Uh, yeah. And then I, 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 I would yeah. hear the radiator bang, you know, boom, boom, you know? Uh -huh. And it actually... Actually, put me to sleep. It was like, yeah, it was soothing. We used to have, used to have one of those like pot belly stoves in the lounge room where you could put the wood in it and cook on top of it. I remember That's standing awesome. a little step beside my grandmother come lunchtime sometimes, and for like 30 minutes, we'd just be the old peeler, peeling potatoes and washing them under <laughs> the water and cutting the pumpkin up and stuff. It's like all this family time. It's like I get so annoyed now, like I said, when I'm driving. Because when we used to go driving, it was like play games with number plates. I spy with my little eye. Now I see dad or mum driving and everyone in the car. Yeah. It's like, why yeah. don't we talk, communicate, ask questions, just like yeah. be, be a family, for God's sakes. These, like people on here you might know and people you don't know, but you're doing all this and you're ignoring the true people in your life around you. You know, you know what it's bones a, me a, out? It's a, it's a different world now. Yeah, you know what bumps me out on the note of different world stuff now? I don't know how it is in Australia, but in America, you could be in like any state. And if you get off a highway, you couldn't tell where you were because it's going to be the same Taco Bell, McDonald's, no. Holiday Inn. It's and, just and, like, and, I, and I understand we're in a different world and there's, more tech, and there's more technologies and stuff. But when you get back to the basics, friends and family who are around you now, who you can be in contact with and you can talk to when you go for dinner put your fucking phone down and communicate with your loved ones and family it doesn't take much because guess what if you, at dinner goes for two or three hours when you finish guess what all that shit online you're looking at it'll still be there okay yeah. so don't give up these good times you got with friends and family to fucking dance, to see who's fucking doing a stupid dance on fucking tiktok that you don't even know <laughs> right. in another country. come on See, I, I'm agreeing with you, Lee. So what I'm what I'm saying is that the family unit is, yes. is slowly coming apart because when we were younger, we had we had mega family, mega food, mega holidays, oh, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. and it was all you know. So you we grew up like that, knowing yeah. family and uh, husbands and wives and and, and cousins yeah. and uncles. You know. So well, I, I mean, I'm not saying it's not like that anymore, but there's yeah. a lot of distractions yeah. now today. Yeah. Way more distractions than oh, yeah. when we were kids. I didn't have mm -hmm. a cell phone when but I was it's like, 10, But it's 12, like it's 12, unnecessary. To the, the distractions are sort of unnecessary because really, it's like I said, I've argued with people online for an hour. But yet I wouldn't talk to a friend of mine for sometimes that long. Jimmy and I talked for a while. But it's like even your loved ones, yes, we have this technology. How many people now sometimes would just text? Like Jimmy and I FaceTime and you can't, even though we're in a different country, seeing Jimmy and I on FaceTime, we laugh more, we see each other. 
send and text are like emotionless. So if you can call someone, call them. Don't just send a text. Actually hear their voice. It's a lot more uplifting. Or as I said, everyone's got it. If you can FaceTime them, actually show. It shows a bit more effort that you're doing that. Just going, good morning. Hope you have a good day. It's like it's like almost just like, eh. It's like, so come on, people. I know we have a lot of technology, but we have technology too that if our families are spread around the country, it's FaceTime them. Like sending your grandmother a message or your mum going, love your mum on that. But if you FaceTime her, you watch her face light up when she sees you because she sees you. That needs to be for a couple of minutes because think of all the other time you waste talking to dickheads you don't even fucking know. This is family and friends. So make that little bit of effort because as Jimmy and I know, once they're gone, you'll be wishing you had a fucking taken that extra moment to talk to them. Absolutely. And and I, and I and like Lee said, I think FaceTime and like sending pictures to each other. Yeah. Because we do it all the time. We send videos, yeah. we send pictures, we FaceTime, and it's a real connection. Yeah, you know, like you even know, though we're a, a country yeah. apart, a world apart across the flat earth, it almost feels like you're just next door or you're just down the road still. <laughs> Don't go to flat earth, Jimmy. I just threw it I know, I know. You threw it in there. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, this whole entire conversation stemmed yes. from this man cheating on his wife and children with a woman who just lost her husband. No, nah, we're way. on to the next one, Jimmy. This was the one that didn't really care about the girlfriend and she gives a good BJ. Keep oh. it. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, <laughs> this yeah, is the right. one. This is the one. Well, yeah, it was kind of along the same, it was along the same lines. Himself. Right. He wasn't yeah. right. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Yeah, Abusing right. relationships. Yeah. Even though it was kind of, uh, it's kind of like along the same yeah. lines, you know, the mm -hmm. guy cheating with the, the mother, the friend, and now this guy yeah. here was with a woman. Yeah, it's kind of the same yes. shit. You know, God, it's, like, it's like Jimmy said, just be true to yourself, exactly. everybody. And if you're with someone, they should be respected. <laughs> respect yourself and respect them. There you go. Tyler, he's, he's saying Jimmy fucking wasted. No, no, I, I don't, I'm, just, I'm just really remembering like just like the, the big ass grab at the wake, you know? Yes, oh. that's what I would, look, that's what stuck in my mind. I know the guy just said that he wasn't into his his old lady and you know no. whatever you know, but I was thinking about the guy that the coffin's the coffin's he's, probably you know, sitting right there still. He's not even right. In the like oh my god, like I don't know if I if I could like reciprocate. Like if I get my ass grabbed, even if I was single, I'd be like, the fuck's wrong with you? Like that's your dead husband right there. Like just like just yeah. now. When you when you be thinking? Box, when you thinking? Oh, is that, he's not even in the ground, and you're already in her. That's what I'm saying. The guy's in a box, man. Are you feeling some guy's ass at the funeral party? Oh, the thing man. is, too, he, oh, probably, he probably goes to her house, and you know what? You know what's there? Photos of him and her probably all throughout the house. Oh, God. Let's... You know, I got to yeah. say something, Lee, so Tyler. One. I have to say something. You know, I'm, I'm, all, I'm, I'm, I joke around. I scream ding your myself. glass. Ding your glass. Ding your glass. Yeah, ding, you ding your glass, please. Okay. Tell us. I'm, I'm, I'm. I'm, you know, I'm really old school type dude. Man. Yeah, I really and it's not the wrong thing. You know, I can't change, man. I, I, no. I have old ways. You know, if you want to call them old ways, you know. Yeah. But uh, I call it, I call it respect and manners. People say you're absolutely. old school. It's respect and manners, and you can right. have that at any age, and you can have it today. Yes. Look and look. Now that you know, we 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 we're doing the show. It's called Confessionals with Priest. Right, we're not really priests, but we're, we're acting like priests. We play one on what? TV. You know, you, you, you look at this. You look at the Bible. You look at the scriptures. They're old too, you know. But yeah. yet they have, they have a they have a lot of meaning. They they talk yeah. about you know respect and honor and honor your mother and your father, you know. Mm -hmm. And then when 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 you when you when you meet your wife, you leave your mother and you go to your wife. You understand? <laughs> So that's that's what that's all about. And when I got married, man, I never cheated on my wife, man. I was because I stood in front of I I was I got married in a Catholic church. I stood yeah. in front of I stood in front and, of the altar. And, and, and when you priest. think about it, Jimmy, yeah. the hell she put you through. If anyone could have cheated, you would have had a good excuse to if you wanted to. <laughs> yeah, but I did. I yes, but I did. So the thing and was, that's you what know, I mean. So even the hell I, she put you through, you didn't do it. Right. Even right. Exactly. And 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 when I was in the church and I got married and I looked up at this giant cross with Christ on it. And I took my vows. I was like, you know what? I could never cheat on my wife because I took vows in front of Christ mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in the church. And I'm not about that, man. I wasn't I wasn't gonna do that. So I never, no. never, as bad as it got, and whatever happened, I never cheated on my wife. We split up, and once we split up and I was on the streets and I knew I wasn't going back, <laughs> then eventually well, I started